Uh, good afternoon. My name is Katrina Kelly and I am a public health doctor. And this afternoon, um, I'll be talking to you uh, about the steps that you can take to reduce your risk of bowel cancer. Um, so what is the bowel? Well, the bowel is just one part of our digestive system. Um, so when you eat, you take food into your mouth, goes down your esophagus, into your stomach, uh, and then into the bowel. And the function or the purpose of the bowel is to digest your food, to absorb the, the goodness or the nutrients from your food uh, into your bloodstream, uh, and then to process and to expel any waste that your body cannot use. And so the bowel is divided, roughly speaking, into two parts. Um, there's the small bowel or the small intestine uh, and the large bowel. And the large bowel is made up of the colon, the, the rectum, and the anus. When we talk about bowel cancer, we're really talking about cancer of the large bowel, so of this part of the bowel here. So you might hear it referred to as colon cancer or colorectal cancer, but these are just different names for bowel cancer. Uh, each year in Ireland, over 2,500 people get diagnosed with bowel cancer, and it affects both men and women. Um, but there are steps that we can all take to reduce our risk of bowel cancer. Uh, so what are these steps? Well, they include things like eating a healthy, balanced diet, uh, being physically active, maintaining a healthy weight, limiting our alcohol intake, not smoking, or if you do smoke, quitting, and taking part in bowel cancer screening. And I'll go through all of these in a bit more detail. So what do I mean by eating a healthy, balanced diet? Well, evidence shows uh, that a diet that's high in fiber leads to an increase in the protective short chain fatty acids within our body. Equally, fiber is very good at protecting against the damaging effects of bile or bile acids in the body. And so these can all help to reduce our risk of bowel cancer. On the flip side, uh, foods like red meat, so steak, um, beef, uh, pork, and processed meats, such as bacon, sa salami, and sausages, all contain chemicals such as heme or N-nitroso, which can damage DNA and as a result, increase our risk uh, of bowel cancer. So what can you do to reduce your risk of bowel cancer when it comes to your diet? Well, you can eat foods, plenty of foods that are high in fiber, such as fruit and vegetables, whole grains and pulses like lentils or chickpeas. And you can reduce your um, intake of red meat uh, or processed meat. And um, so things I would suggest would be perhaps eating an extra portion of uh, vegetables each day or have one day a week uh, where you don't eat any meat. So have a meat-free Monday and build it from there. Uh, there's plenty of recipes online for tasty vegetarian curries or vegetarian stir fries. And remember, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing approach here. You can start small uh, and build it from there. Uh, being physically active, I'm sure as you're all aware, has many health benefits, but perhaps you didn't know that being physically active can actually reduce your risk of bowel cancer. And it does this by helping your body to use a hormone called insulin more effectively. It reduces the inflammation within your body and it helps you maintain a healthy body weight. So what can you do to reduce your risk of bowel cancer? Well, the guidelines recommend 150 minutes of physical activity each week, as well as some muscle strengthening exercises. However, really any amount of physical activity is better than none. And by physical activity, I don't just mean going for a run or going to an aerobics class. Uh, even things like taking the stairs rather than the lift, walking or cycling to work, even gardening and housework can be considered physical activity if they're active enough. So try and introduce a bit more movement into your day, wherever and whenever you can. Keeping your weight in a healthy range can reduce your risk of at least 12 different types of cancer, including bowel cancer. And it does this by keeping inflammation and your hormones in check. Um, we know that maintaining a healthy weight for many people is not just a case of eating less and moving more. However, eating a healthy balanced diet, being physically active, getting enough good quality sleep, 
reducing stress and minding, minding your mental health uh, can all play a part in weight management and therefore help you reduce your risk of bowel cancer. And there are supports available. This slide lists out some of the support options and resources that are available for healthy eating, physical activity, sleep and mental health. I appreciate it is a very busy slide, but I think it does show the, the wealth of information and support that is available to you and available freely online. And you'll have access to these links after the webinar. And of course, if you do require referral to a weight management specialist or a weight management consultant, your GP should be your first port of call. Alcohol can increase your risk of seven different types of cancer, including bowel cancer. Uh, alcohol breaks down into a chemical that can damage DNA and stops the body being able to repair itself. The Department of Health has published lower risk drinking guidelines. However, when it comes to cancer, unfortunately, there really is no safe lower limit. So for information and tips on cutting back, visit askaboutalcohol.ie or contact the HSE Drugs and Alcohol Helpline for support in changing your alcohol intake. And again, these contact details will be available after the webinar. As Dr. Una Kennedy has already discussed today, and smoking can increase your risk of lung cancer as it contains approximately 70 different chemicals that cause cancer. But smoking also increases your risk of bowel cancer. So whilst the best way to reduce your risk of bowel cancer is to not smoke in the first place, for those who do smoke, the best thing you can do uh, is to quit. Um, and it's never too late to stop, but the sooner you quit, the better. We know that quitting smoking is hard, but the HSE quit services are there to help you along the way. Um, and again, the HSE quit service contact details will be made available to you uh, after the webinar. Finally, uh, to reduce your risk of bowel cancer, we recommend everyone between the ages of 59 and 69 take part in the free bowel cancer screening program that's available in Ireland. Bowel cancer screening aims to detect signs of bowel cancer at an early stage before you've even noticed any symptoms yourself. We've already heard uh, today about how effective bowel cancer screening is uh, at detecting bowel cancer early. Um, and the next speaker today will go into it in a bit more detail. Um, but make sure uh, if you're between the ages of 59 and 69 that you are registered uh, for bowel cancer screening and once again, the contact details um, for registration will be available uh, after the webinar. So as you've heard today, uh, there are a lot of steps that we can all take to reduce our risk of bowel cancer. And you can start by making a few small changes today. Uh, I'd like to thank my colleagues for putting this webinar together today. And thank you all very much for your attention. And I'm happy to take any questions either in the Q&A function um, or during the Q&A section uh, after these presentations. Thank you very much.